New Citroen C3 Blue LED Diesel 2017 Review We've already tried the new Citroen C3 in petrol form, but how does the top spec diesel handle UK roads? Verdict 3 Star Citroen's new C3 embraces the distinctive style first embodied by the excellent C4 Cactus, but its talents are more than just skin deep. From the tech-laden cabin to the punchy engine range it excels, and while it lacks the space and overall composure on the road of some rivals, it's reasonable fun to drive. Having said all that, we'd still steer clear of this top-spec diesel. It's a good unit, but the petrol alternatives are cheaper and sweeter to drive, while the C3S core value for money appeal is better emphasized at a lower price point. Citroen has a reputable history of building successful small cars from the 2CV to the Axe and the Saxo but the C3 Super Mini nameplate has never really built upon that legacy. The first two generations were acceptable but wholly underwhelming Super Minis, lacking any standout reasons to choose one over the established class big hitters. To make things worse, the more adventurously designed DS3 arrived in 2010, demonstrating that the manufacturer's small car mojo was not irretrievably lost. In light of the DS3S strong showing, Citroen knew the third generation C3 needed a fresh, memorable identity. When this new C3 model first launched at the Paris Motor Show, its distinctive looks and funky cabin gave us real hope that Citroen had pulled that off, while our first impressions of driving the car abroad were largely positive. This is the real acid test, though how does the Gallic small car handle tough British roads? There's no question that the new C3S shapely exterior and bright colors lighten up even the most bleak English winter's day. Citroen has taken plenty of inspiration from the popular C4 Cactus crossover from the rugged lower body cladding to the now optional air bumps and as a result, the C3 can match the personality as its bigger cousin. Citroen has gone bigger on customization, too. As well as the option to ditch the air bumps, there's a total of 36 exterior roof slash body color combinations to let buyers express themselves. Inside, there's also a variety of dash accent hues available, but the overall design lacks some of the distinctive touches found in the C4 Cactus. Still, the minimalist dashboard, funky air vents and lounge style seats give enough character to make the C3 feel like a big step onwards from the old car. Quality is generally good, too, although we're disappointed that almost all of the surfaces you touch are hard plastic. Practicality is only average, too, there's a sizable 300-liter boot and legroom is decent enough, but rear headroom is tight for six-footers and the glove box is, frankly, pathetic. To top it off, the cup holders are rather small, although at least you do actually get some unlike the DS3. The 7-inch touchscreen might look familiar Peugeot slash Citroën fare, yet this version is more responsive to the touch than the one found in older PSA models. All C3S with it fitted receive Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone connectivity, though if you want SAT NAV in the traditional sense you'll have to pay an extra £500 even on top models. Amongst the neat feature of our Flare model, there's even a high-definition windscreen-mounted camera that can record pictures or video and send them to your phone, replacing the need for an aftermarket dash cam. Citroen's primary focus for the new C3 is on providing outstanding comfort rather than Ford Fiesta levels of cornering ability. That's expressed well through the light and airy cabin and soft, comfortable seats, but the suspension isn't quite the revelation promised. For the most part it's very smooth, cushioning occupants from the road surface deftly around town and offering a laid-back feel. However, that composure can start to unravel on some of the badly rutted tarmac all too often found in the UK, with the C3 starting to bounce and thud as the damping struggles to keep control. That's a shame, as refinement levels are very good all round. As expected, there's plenty of body roll in the bends, but the C3 is still enough fun to drive thanks to decent grip levels and reasonably direct steering. Having sampled the excellent 1.2-liter PureTech petrol engine previously, we tried the range-topping 1.6-liter diesel engine here. 
It's not expected to be the dominant variant in the sales charts, but it's still a likable powertrain. With 254 Nm of torque to shift the C3S modest curb weight, it feels gutsy from low revs and, kept in the mid-range, it's just as sprightly as the petrols. It does become raucous above 3,000 RPM, however, and as on all C3S the springy, long throw gearshift detracts from the overall experience. As expected the diesel is impressively efficient, though, promising 76.3 mpg and emitting just 95 g slash km of CO2. You do pay a premium for this oil burner, as it's nearly 1,100 pounds more than the most powerful PureTech 110 petrol. In the flagship flare trim we have here, that puts it right at the top end of the super mini market at 17,000 pounds and the C3 lacks the ultimate polish to compete there. Key Specs Model, Citroen C3 Blue Ehdi 100 Flare Price, 17,095 pounds Engine, 1.6 liter diesel Power slash torque, 99 bhp slash 254 nm Transmission 5-speed manual, front-wheel drive. 0 to 62 miles per hour, 10.6 seconds. Top speed, 115 miles per hour. Economy slash CO2, 76.3 mpg slash 95g slash km. On sale, January 2017.